Hey, welcome back, coaches, athletes, sports fans, parents, and everybody here. Coach Michael Fields, uh, back with a new series. Uh, we're kicking off today. Uh, also starting some merch. Uh, got a little merchandise here. Got some stickers here. Uh, got the shirt on. Got another sticker here. What we're talking about today is um, coaching beyond the scoreboard. Okay, so it's really about uh, life lessons, you know, lessons for life. Um, what we're really trying to do is help these young people develop into young adults, uh, make sure that we're helping them develop into, uh, you know, good citizens. So, again, Coach Michael Fields kicking it off today. Uh, if you want to find me on Instagram, Coach Michael Fields. On Twitter, Michael K. Fields. I share not only uh, coaching stuff, but, uh, you know, a lot of stuff from my, my day job, which I teach management and leadership at the university level. So you see some kind of professional stuff that I share there. You can always catch me on email and if you want some of that merch you want one of these stickers you want a shirt um, you know one of the stickers here uh, we got another size of the sticker right here you want a shirt beyond the scoreboard uh, shoot me an email at coach fields at gmail.com again uh, we're going lessons for life uh, beyond the scoreboard you know and I got to give props out to my to my old high school football coach he wrote a book uh, it's called Beyond the Goal Line. He was he was predominantly a football coach about seven eight years ago. You know when I really realized that uh, I was not just uh, doing some X's and O's and, and developing athletes. I was developing young people, um, young adults. Um, some are now grown. You know out of college, getting married, starting families, doing really cool things in life. I realized uh, you know that uh, being a multi-sport coach with basketball, you know baseball, softball, in addition to football. Uh, you know, we're really coaching beyond the scoreboard, and, and, I, and I really, you know, took that on. You know, some of the great coaches out there from uh, Phil Jackson has a, you know, is, is noted for that in some of his interviews. Uh, Coach Wooden, Coach Pat Summit, Coach Mike Kendrea, you know, those are really some, some excellent coaches. Nick Saban, uh, they're great coaches, and they all kind of preach that same message that we're not just coaching a sport, we're getting these athletes ready for, for the rest of their lives. And so, uh, most of them don't go on to be pro, right? So we're trying to help them become young people. So coaching's a calling, you know, that's that's Phil Jackson's uh, big piece there that he'll talk about is not everybody uh, coaches, you know, not, not everybody is called to coach. Um, it's a tough it's a tough gig, you know. Uh, I spent most of my coaching career at this point as a volunteer. And so, you know, it was, and, and you put in a lot of hours, in, even at the youth level, you're putting in, you know, 10, 15, maybe 20 hours a week by the time you practice, by the time you prep for practice, by the time you game, uh, you know, game plan, prep for the game, uh, travel to games, whatever it might be. Then, of course, playing the games themselves, you know, working with your parents, working with your athletes, fundraising. You know, it's, it's a busy, it's a busy job, even at the volunteer level. Coaching at the high school level, I'm an assistant coach, uh, JV coach and head freshman coach. Um, you know, we all chip in. We're putting hours in the weight room. We're putting hours in summer conditioning. We're helping to fundraise. Um, it's still at that same level. We're working with our athletes outside of the classroom, you know. And then, of course, there's practice, right? Prep time, film time, uh, you know, game time, travel to games, all these things that we're doing. But we do it because it's a calling and we love it. Uh, <clears throat> more than X's and O's, you know, and, and that's kind of what I mean when, when this, you know, coaching beyond the scoreboard and, and what that means to me is, you know, if it's about, you know, that final score every time, you know, it's not going to be real fun. We're not going to develop these young athletes. We're not going to develop these productive young citizens. So it really has to be more than X's and O's. We're developing these productive citizens. Citizens, We're giving them skills for life, leadership skills, teamwork and trust, uh, communication skills, how to overcome adversity. You know, that kid that's benched because he's having a bad game or just a bad day or maybe you misbehave in practice whatever it may be and we have to bench them you know they have to overcome that maybe they have a tough loss you know they missed a bucket maybe they didn't get that hit when they needed it maybe they got thrown out trying to steal a base whatever it was that's overcoming adversity and as all you know adults will say uh, there's a lot going on in life that makes it tough we have to overcome adversity so sports is a nice teaching ground for that you know learning to uh, earn respect give respect and just be a respectful person so this week in this series, we're going to cover more of these items, cover some of these more in depth, give some more examples, share some stories uh, from my coaching career of what coaching 
beyond the scoreboard means to me, what hopefully it means to you as, as a coach, and uh, as an athlete, what maybe you're aspiring to get out of sports is just more than winning. You know, most coaches, um, you know, some coaches do, but I, I hopefully not all coaches, not most. Some chase, chase the trophies and, and, you know, they're all about scholarships and winning, 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 uh, which is great. You know, we do coach to win because we are, we are coaches, we are competitive, but that shouldn't be our primary goal. That's like number four or five on the list, you know, developing young athletes, being safe, having fun and teaching young people how to be productive in life uh, should be prioritized above that winning all the time. Uh, but, you know, we coach because we're competitive, so we do like winning. Uh, some of us, our jobs are on the line if we don't win. So uh, we do have to kind of put that on the list of priorities, but these other things are usually above that. So check out the episodes, the rest of the episodes this week. We'll be talking about leadership more in depth. We'll be talking about communication, talking about adversity, talking about all these skills that we're teaching them. We're instilling in these young people so they can be productive citizens. Thanks for watching. Once again, Michael Fields. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, email me. We got the stickers, we got the shirts. We're kicking off a whole series on coaching beyond the scoreboard. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, look forward to working with you guys. Thank you.